Hello, my name is Carly Rimes, and I am the owner and occupational therapist at Mobile Rehab in the beautiful Naples, Florida. If you're not familiar with Naples, Florida, our average age of our population here is right around 66 years old, which doesn't seem super surprising until you consider that the average age of a population in another city, like maybe Chicago, comes in around 35 years. So most of our patients that we have on caseload at any given time range between 85 and 90 years old. So we see a lot of different equipment used for our patients and a lot of different equipment that our patients could benefit from. So today we are reviewing a bunch of different assistive devices and how they can assist you and how to choose the one that's best for you. First one we're going to review is this really neat walker that is actually new to us called the Standard. We would recommend this walker for people that would traditionally lean towards a cane. It's pretty rare that we go into a home with somebody that uses a cane and we don't take the cane away. Because for the vast majority of people that need a cane, when they walk, the last thing that they need to be doing is leaning over on the floor to try to pick a cane off of the floor. This removes that issue. So we really, really like it. It's very lightweight, gives you a basket so that you can carry a few things and you can push it easily around. It folds up very, very nicely and will provide you with more stabilization than a traditional cane one. Our next walker that we're gonna review, uh, I lovingly refer to as Old Faithful. This is the traditional two-wheel walker that Medicare would provide to you. There are a few different versions of it these days. There is an option with the seat, but there's quite a few reasons that we love it. For one, it is extremely stable. It is probably out of all the walker options out there, the most stable one. If you are using this walker properly, which is the walker hitting right at your wrist, your arms slightly bent as you walk, stepping forward and backwards, the walker is coming with you. If you're using it properly and you went to fall, this walker will hold you. It's going absolutely nowhere. It'll hold somebody five or six times my size, not a problem. It allows you to have a full gait pattern. It's really there to give you a good amount of stability. People aren't a big fan because it doesn't give you somewhere to see, sit. It looks very medical. We understand that, but if your whole goal is stability, if you recently had a knee replacement, a hip replacement, and what you need is something that's gonna keep you balanced, this is and always will be an awesome option. Moving on to the traditional four-wheeled walker. We probably see this walker the most in our community, and I'm not really sure how that happened. <laughs> because it's not the best option for most people and it's not the right option for most people because of quite a few reasons. First being that they're fast, a little too fast. Because they're so fast, people have the tendency to walk extremely far behind them, making them more hunched over, putting more strain on your lower back, uh, causing a lot of issues. This walker is also absolutely never going to stop you from falling. If you went to fall with this walker, it would just keep going. It's gonna slow your fall very much so, which we're happy about, is a good option, but really it's not going to stop you from falling. If anything, it might cause a fall if it gets too far ahead of you and you just can't quite catch up. It is a good option for people who balance is not necessarily an issue. If the whole goal of the walker is that we're working on building your endurance up, we like this. If the whole need for the walker is that you can't carry something and walk and you want to be able to put something on it and push it around, it's an okay option. If you just had a cardiac surgery and you need something that you can lock and have a seat and rest and then stand back up and walk again, okay, it's an okay option. But anything more complicated than that, there's definitely significantly better options out there now. One of the better options is this very neat walker. This is actually a hybrid between a walker and a transportation wheelchair. Benefit being that somebody can actually safely push you on it. We never want to see someone being pushed in a traditional four-wheeled walker. It is not safe. We see injuries from them constantly. They're not meant for that. They should not be used in that way. This one, however, it doesn't have to have the footrests on it. You can walk around. 
with it just like you could a traditional four-wheel walker. Has the basket, gives you the area, still the same amount of stability, but you can also lock it, flip this around, your caregiver can use it as a seat for you and safely transport you. Comfortably, safely, they can pass the things to assist the caregiver to get it up curves, things like that. It's a much safer option for somebody who's going to need some assistance with transportation from the wheelchair. Now we're going to move into the newest phase of walkers, which is actually the upright walkers. And these are some of my favorite products to hit the market in a very long time because they do provide significantly better ergonomics, better safety, um, just improved muscle use, stops people from getting in that kyphotic posture. We really, really like them. So this is a traditional upright walker. This one is by Nova. It's called the Phoenix. Some of the other brands are the Up Walker. Um, there's quite a few different options on Amazon. Most of the medical supply distributors have a few different brands here. At Medco, they have a few different ones that are all great options. Big thing with them is brakes work in a traditional way. Get the brakes to stop. Weight goes through the elbow so that it's your shoulder girdle su supporting you. Rather than putting any strain on your lower back, you can still have a full weight forward backwards. You don't have to worry about your falling from side to side. Has somewhat of a large turn radius, but is definitely accessible. And if you need to see, you can turn around, have a seat, and it has these nice little bars to help you get up. All good things. We suggest this walker for people that have had long-term cardiac issues, congestive heart failure, Parkinson's, some of our neurological patients. Uh, it's just a great support. It folds up very, very nicely, which is something that we don't see with a lot of the other walkers as well. So you just hit the button here. I guess I'm not very tall, so I have to just it is. And fold here, and you'll fold up and go in your trunk. Now, for our neuro patients that just have a little bit higher of a knee, this is our new step, and this is the new it thing. This walker is very impressive. Um, it has a zero point turn, and the brake system actually works the opposite of most systems. So where a normal walker, you squeeze this, it's going to give you a break. This one is absolutely always locked unless you're squeezing it. So for Parkinson's patients or post-CVA, that is an extremely big safety benefit. Right now, I can go push my weight as hard as I want that way. I'm sliding a little bit, but because it's locked, I'm not going real far. Squeeze this, and you have easy motion. Some of the downfalls of this walker is the seat. In order to stabilize so much more weight, this bar has to be present. So someone to use it and utilize the seat has to be able to unlock that and bring it in. That is questionable for the average CVA or Parkinson's patient who's gonna be using this. Another benefit of it is the option of the laser light. For Parkinson's or CVA patients that are learning how to walk again, it gives them the cues of when to step. So they can look down, see the light. As soon as their toes move past the light, they step forward again. The light moves past their toe, they step forward again, giving them the cues that they need. It does also have a metronome option for our Parkinson's patients to help with festation. So it does give off a light sound. The video doesn't pick up very well, but it's just a beep. Help someone to continue to move forward um, and stay at an even pace. Downfalls of this 
walker would definitely be transportation. Most of our patients that we recommend it to, this is their home walker. This is the one that stays at home. It's easy to take into the restroom. It's easy to move throughout their home. It's easy to use in the kitchen, all of those things. But folding it up and taking it into the community is very challenging because it is so large and it is heavy, which provides a benefit for safety for someone learning how to walk again. But long-term usage for somebody who wants to take into the community, not realistic. So take into the community, you lift up the seat, right here. And this whole thing has to go into your vehicle. That's not practical for most people. So we do recommend a traditional upright walker for one of them for the community and this for home. devices today has a lot of different needs. Everybody's need is different. You're never going to walk into the same house and hand everybody the same piece of equipment. That wouldn't make sense. There's so many options out there today that we want to make sure that people pick the equipment that is best for them and that they have a professional like the people at Amedco help fit it for them and make sure it's the proper height and the right size and the right equipment for them. So we highly suggest anytime you go out to invest into a new piece of equipment that you contact a therapist to assist or your doctor to assist in the process and you pick the equipment that's going to help you to be most successful. So my name is Carlene Rice. I am an occupational therapist with Mobile Rehab and we are happy to answer any questions you have. Please feel free to shoot us an email and God bless.